Hi, my name is Gail Foreman. I am the author of the recent release, Just One Year, which is the companion novel to Just One Day. Just One Year follows Willem's story after he and Allison, or Lulu as he knows her, were separated during that fateful day in Paris. And uh, it is quite a travel book like the first one. Willem travels to several locations, including Mexico and India, and spends time in Amsterdam. And uh, it completes the, the saga, so I hope you'll enjoy it. For about one week, because the idea for it, uh, just one day, it came to me in a dream, and then I started writing the first 30 pages. And for about a week, I thought it would just be one book. But then I realized in the shower that if I did it as two books, it would be so much more challenging. And it was incredibly challenging. And one of the things that I, that I wanted to have would, I love the idea of the characters crossing paths, just missing each other, you know, by inches, but not, not knowing it. But the reader would be able to know it. And one of the other things that you get when you read the books together is by the time you finish just one year, you understand why. I think you know by the time you, by the time you read just one day, I think you have a sense of why Allison was drawn to Willem. That you know she talks about he taught, showed her how to get lost, and she showed herself how to get found. She needed that. But by the time you see the books together, you really kind of understand how why these people were drawn to each other, and how they they answer things in one another. And the reader has this unique view that the characters don't because they're not seeing each other until the very end of the book, knowingly. They've, they've kind of crossed paths in all these different ways without knowing it. But the reader then has all of these insights. So that was, for me, the whole challenge of, of doing this book. To, you know, I think people, when they first find out that Allison and Willem don't see each other till the very end of Willem's book, are like, what? What are you doing? But then when you get there, and you realize how much overlap has actually happened throughout the book, it, at least I hope it is very, very satisfying because you have this huge canvas and you understand so much and you understand why Willem was drawn to her and why she was drawn to him. So that was so much intricate plotting in little things like them both being in Mexico and the, their shoes being in the same pile. But it was also things like with Willem's family's backstory and how that related to Allison and why he would have been drawn to her in the first place and why when she did certain things, like why when she threw that book at the skinheads or why when she says, who takes care of you? When you read Willem's story, you understand in a way that Allison doesn't why all of those would have done something really major to him in a way that all the other girls, because you'll find out that there were a lot of other girls with Willem, it didn't. So that was the unique challenge of doing the books like that, and that was exactly why I wanted to do the two books. In terms of feeling a responsibility toward my audience, like I want to give my audience this like incredibly emotionally cathartic reading experience. I want them to finish my book with, as they say back at home, all the feels. You know, with that that heart that feels like your chest can't contain it. That's how I want you to finish my book. That said, I think if I were to tell readers after they finish just one day how I finished just one year, they would be like, what? Are you crazy? And they would have wanted something different. They would have wanted a lot more of Allison and Willem on the page, maybe in the way that Adam and Mia were and where she went. But this is a very different book. So I think about readers. I think about what they expect. But I, don't, I think there's a difference between what they expect and what they actually want. Because then usually at the end of it, they read the book and the people, you know, it's early days yet, but people who've read just one year are finishing it with that full heart and with the tears coming down their face and with the exact reading experience that I want them to have. So I do think about them because I know they're expecting something different. Especially there's that cover of the book with the guy and the girl kissing. I think there's, they think that that happens like the minute you open the book and that's not the case at all. But I think it's a satisfying read, as satisfying a story as I could have told. You know, I, with this one, these two books were so conceived. I mean, I really see Just One Day and Just One Year as one book that was just split into two. So it makes no sense to kind of add it on. Like, there's no prequel because it, the prequel is before they met. 
And the whole thing is how this one day together catalyzes their lives and catalyzes them to change completely so that when they come back together a year later, they have, they have both transformed. Um, so I'm not interested in, in writing, you know, what happens there. And I, I think that, you know, you could sort of then write the story of what happens, you know, and how they kind of navigate their relationship, but that's not so interesting. It's more fun to kind of think about that, but I don't necessarily want to write about that. And, you know, people have also asked that with, with Adam and Mia, and if I stay in where she went, would I write a third book? And I'm very flattered because I know it means that readers want to stay in that world. And I know how that feels to finish a book and just to think, I don't want to leave this world. I don't want to leave these characters. And that happens to me only with books that I truly love. So when readers say that, like, I know that's incredibly high praise. But at the same point, going back to like what readers want and what is actually what they really want, I explain to them, you know, I know you want to spend more time with Adam and Mia. So think about them and reread them or write your own fan fiction if you want. But for me to write a third story for them, you forget that novels are predicated on conflict. And so I would have to do something terrible to these characters that have so been through the ringer already. And nobody wants that to happen. Like, you don't want me to do that. I don't want to do that. So I get where the impulse is, but the story really knows when the, when the story is, is done. So.